Gun Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodesh. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and Shalom to the sincere Akim, to bring his truth in sincerity. Shalom. So, in this video, I want to talk about a, um, a vision or you know, some sort of dream that I received a while ago, you know, by the Heavenly Father, which, you know, it's like, was in July, that I received this, this vision, and, you know, this vision went into the sufferings that uh, me as a as individ as an individual individual went through, and um, it was a it was like a quick vision, but in the vision, all the sufferings, all the shame, all the um, people that basically looked down on you, and it was all combined. You know, in a, in a short moment, but I was just standing there, people who were around me, my parents, other people that I don't even remember who they were or things like that. But I really felt the pain of the sufferings that I had to, uh, that I had to go through, you know, and, um, Every time I went through, uh, through through those difficulties and pains, it only made me stronger, man. But all these things that I went through in that vision, it all built me up and it made me stronger and stronger and stronger. And it eventually led up, you know, to me being crowned, man. You know, and it really felt like um it's 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 like hard to uh, to explain but it felt like some um something that had to do with being foreordained to go through these things and eventually you know being uh, being crowned man and before I want to go to Romans the 8th chapter because in the vision, it all revolved around, my whole life revolved around having to go through all these things, you know, eventually leading up to me being crowned, you know, and then me indeed receiving the fame and the praise, you know, and I'm not saying that uh, this vision that I received is a, uh, is a foretelling or like it's a hundred percent sure, sure sign of my salvation or you know anything like that because even the scripture says that dream lift up fools but of course it does boost your faith you know and your confidence in Al-Bashim Yahushai if you receive such a sign man if you receive such a uh, dream slash vision you know to boost you in the spirit man and to also give you a lot of more information about you know, what you as a person in the truth have to go through in order to, to, to reach towards that end goal that we have, man, which is the salvation and eventually being crowned, you know, as heirs of the world together with Yahweh Shai, man, because we are joint heirs pursuing to Romans chapter 8. But before I want to go on, um, there's a scripture that I want to bring out. Because I mentioned that it really felt like um, all the things that I had to go through led to, to this one certain thing, man. And I had to go through that. This is Sirach chapter 40, verse 1. Great travail is created for every man, and then heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. From the day that they go out of their mother's womb to the day that they return to the mother of all things. So that heavy yoke that is upon us, you know, is the hard life that we live, man. You know, and the sons of Adam is referring to 
in this day and age the Israelites man but it's referring to that chosen seed line because you, back in the days you also had the chosen seed line of, of, of those you know who came forth of Adam but in this day and age you know that's referring to the nation of Israel you know <clears throat> But from the day that we are born, we, we, we live a very heavy and difficult life with all the trials, tribulations, and difficulties that we have to go through, man. You know? And, you know, this, this vision that I received also serves as a comfort and a lesson. Like, hey, you know, this is, this is the life that you have to live being an Israelite in order for you to eventually receive that you know, praise and fame. You're gonna have you're gonna have to be humiliated, you're gonna have to be defamed, you're gonna have to be made low. You know, all these things, you know, is what the Heavenly Father showed me in that vision in a very short amount of time. And I really, you know, felt that uh, that pain, the anguish, you know, the snut, you know, the the, 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 the tears, you know. And um It was very heavy, man, to receive that vision. But it all led up to, you know, me, you know, being crowned, which I would desire, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to put that crown upon my, uh, upon my head, man. <clears throat> but this is Sirach chapter 40, verse 1. Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. From the day that they got out of the mother's womb to the day that they returned to the mother of all things. Yeah, so if you look at it, you know, every um, every person upon this earth, he, they're going to go through certain things, you know, since the fall of Adam. We have to work, you know, the things that we go through, other people in the world also go through it, pursuing to, um, what was it, First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. You know, that the temptation that we go through is coming to man. You know, but we as uh, as the chosen people of Yahweh Bashem we have a special, we have a special, <laughs> special life, man. You know, we, we're being pressed harder than all these, these people upon the earth. You know, you also have those that are living very lavishly, of course. But if you look at our people... You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those scattered among the heathen nations, looking like the heathen nations. But his lineage does go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to the father's seed line. You know, we go to certain things that the rest of this world is, is, is not being able to bear, man. You know? So this is Romans chapter 8, and let me start at verse 16. Where it says the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Yes, so through the understanding of the scriptures, you know, we have an understanding of who are the Israelites, and you know we are able to, you know, discern uh, more often than not, you know who, you know, might be or who are Israelites, man. You know, per per pursuing to the to the soul that we have, you know, which goes into the flavor, you know, being more talented. Than the rest of these nations, man. Verse 17 And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joined heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So if we are the children of the Heavenly Father, then we're going to be joined heirs with Yahweh Shai, because he is our fellow brother, and you know, he is also Shaila, which means Shai Allah. Which in the Hebrew means unto whom everything belongs or, um, or unto whom everything is given. We're going to be joined heirs with Jehovah Shai if we suffer with him, man. You know? Then we're also going to receive that glory, you know, that he received, you know? Verse 18 For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which should be revealed in us. So in that uh, in that vision, I went through a lot of pain, man. You know, and that's the life that we, you know, have been given by the Heavenly Father, because that's our lot as a nation of Israel, man. Pursuing to Second Esdras, the seventh chapter, which through the Spirit I'm gonna grab. 
you know, since this came in my mind. But it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So the things that we go through right now, you know, which, which are very painful at times, which, you know, are, are very uneasy at times, you know, first and foremost, the Heavenly Father will never allow us to be, to be, uh, I say that, to be tempted above that we are able, man. He's not going to give us uh, more than we are able to handle. You know, and even the things that we go through, you know, how harsh or how hard it may be, what we're going to receive as a reward for enduring all these things is going to far exceed the pain and sufferings that we went through. You know? So think about losing your house, being without a job, losing your wife, losing your children. These are all possibilities that might occur in our life because the scripture says so. And when these things occur, they can be hard at times and be very painful. But the reward that is laid up for us, you know, those that endure, we're going to receive that crown and we're going to be um, we're going to be the uh, uh, the regions upon the earth, man, and even in the in, in in the universe. You know, we're going to be the kings and the rulers of the earth and the universe, man, together with Yahweh Shah. You know, that's what is laid up for us. Let me um, start at 2nd Esdras, chapter 7. And let me start at verse 6. There's also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? So this city that it's referring to is referring to the kingdom. And it is good with it is filled with all you know goodness and pleasant things and you know plenteousness, you know more than our hearts are 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 able to you know desire right now, man. The heavenly Father is going to give us so much that we're going to be <laughs> fully loaded, man, with all the goodness that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, you know, are preparing for us right now, man. But it says that the way through that to that kingdom is going to be very hard. You know, it's going to be full of difficulties. You know, just danger on the left and danger on the right. But the only way that we're able to receive that inheritance is if we, you know, enter into the road or in, into the uh, uh, gate that will eventually lead to the kingdom. Which is, you know, walking in this truth, man, walking in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and taking up our cross, which comes with the set, setbacks, calamities, difficulties, you know. <clears throat> Verse 10 And I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion. Because for their sakes I made the world, and when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was the decree that now is done. Then were the entrances of this world made narrow, and full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. 
you see so this is the portion that's given unto our people you know and the things that are going on right now upon the earth and it was created after the fall of Adam man. you know so right now it's, it's 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 a hard road towards the kingdom for us man Uh, for the entrances of the elder world were wide and sure and brought a mort of fruit. If then they that la live labor, not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. You see, so we have to labor in this truth, man. We have to put in the work in this truth and walk on the path that leads to the kingdom. Otherwise, we can never receive the things that are laid up for us, man. You see? Um, I think it's in, in Thessalonians. It is First Thessalonians chapter three in verse two. And St. Timothy is a brother, a minister of the Most High, and a fellow laborer in the gospel of Yahweh Shai, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. For verily when we were with you we told you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass and ye know. So Apostle Paul sent forth Timothy to the people of Thessalon Thess Thessalonica uh, because they was um, you know they received the word and you know they were being told that um, they, they would suffer persecutions and hardships when they would follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because that's, you know, that's the way that we're going to enter into the kingdom, man. You know? And that's what it also says in Sirach, the second chapter. If you come to serve the Lord, prepare a soul for temptation. I mean, you're going to be tried and tempted on all sides because you as a spiritual man or, you know, a man that tries to be a spiritual to the best of his abilities, Try to walk in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai in a world that is contrary to that, they're going to be tempted on all sides, man. You know, a world that is established in wickedness, but you try to uphold righteousness, that's going to cause conflict, vexations, you know. So, you're going to suffer persecutions, man. You're going to suffer hardships. You're going to suffer difficulties, man. Your faith is going to be tested on all sides and on all fronts, man. It's a constant battle. And test of your faith and of your belief and if the things that you know you you desired you know which you know should be the kingdom and the the, uh, the spiritual fruits that come with this truth if you still want those you know it's going to be tested every time and you still you still want to be in the truth yeah yeah you still want that you still you, st you still want to be in the truth even after you lost your job you still want to be in the truth after you, you lost your house you know, we're gonna take away all your money. You still wanna be in the truth? You know, that's that's what these these demons gonna try to 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 make happen, man. You know. But it says um, that um, Apostle Paul sent forth Timothy, you know, to um, to uh, 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 make sure that they're gonna be in their right mind again, man. Like, hey, we told you these things, and to to establish them and to strengthen them and to make sure that the faith that they have is is, is, is grounded man you know because they was already forewarned and then they received it and then it'd be like hey you know we're going through these things why are we catching hell yeah you're catching hell because hey you're trying to serve the righteous power man you know but um i digress a little bit um i want to close it off with the fact that in the dream it all led up to me being um, crowned, you know, which Yahweh you know, was going to happen by the hands of Yahweh Shai. 
um, so this is second Ezra chapter two. Um, And 43. In the midst of them there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their head he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marvel for that greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? You know, so the young man of a high stature is referring to Yahweh Shai, and you know, upon every one of the heads of the elect. You know, he said, crowns, man. Why? Because we're going to be joint heirs with him. You know, we're going to be uh, kings. You know, we're going to be the first ones to rule upon the earth, man. You know, we're going to be a nation of kings and priests, man. You see? But it's going to be only the elect that is really going to be the governing body. You know? Verse 45, he answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and received palms. And that's what we're doing, man. We're trying to, you know, put off the flesh day by day and trying to, you know, walk more in the spirit, man. You know, put on put on the uh, the breastplate of righteousness, the scriptures. You know, the, the whole arm of the Most High, man. And what are we doing is, is we're confessing the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Verse 46, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them, and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You see? And that's what we're doing. Man. We're, we're standing firm for Yahweh, Baha Shom, Yahweh Shai. You know? The rest of the world you know, wants to talk about God and Jesus, you know, Jehovah, Yeshua. No, man. It's Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, you know. And that name is, is only given unto the elect because the scripture says, and the elect shall praise his holy name, you know. Which we're praising Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, in the Lashawan Kodash, which means the holy tongue. You know, the old Paleo Hebrew, man. <laughs> Verse 48, Then the angel said unto me, Go that way, and tell my people what manner of things, and how great wonders the Lord Yahweh thy power thou hast seen. You see? So, you know, Ezra already saw, you know, the vision, man, of the elect being crowned, man, and receiving the victory. And it's beautiful, man. You know, and, and concerning the vision that I received, you know, really is a, um, is a reminder of me that, to me, like, hey, you know, we have to go through these things and everything that you're going through is only going to make you stronger and stronger and stronger. You're going to be built up, you know, enough to endure everything, of the, you know, that, that the Most High is basically going to throw at you, you know, to test your faith, man. You know, why am I saying that? Because the elect were already foreordained and they were already made to overcome everything that they have to go through, man. But we have to be prepared you know, through that, man. It's like a video game, right? You play this game, you start this MMORPG, you know, and you're, you already know, like, hey, you know, I have to be level 80 to beat the game. But in the meantime, you know, you're trying to build up yourself, your character, you know, you try to work on your defenses, you know, your stamina, you know, maybe even that you're working on your magicka, depending on the type of class that you created, you know, but you're working up yourself, you know, towards that end goal, man. But in order to do that, you have to, you know, first defeat the lower enemies, grow a little bit, you know, work on your armor, you know, work on your uh, skills, add a, add a new one, you know, this, then, the third, man. But eventually, you know, you're able to overcome, you know, that, that raid or that dungeon that you was preparing for, and eventually you're able to defeat the end boss of the game, you know. That's what we're striving for, man, to overcome every situation that we're being dealt, that that we're being faced with, and to deal with, deal with that man, and to grow from that, and to learn from that, and the heavenly Father is putting all these things in our life for us to grow, man. You know, so the adversities that we go through are, like, <laughs> like Andrew Tate says, man, the opportunities for growth. You know, 
because that means that something is amiss in your life and something that that's something that you need to work on man. so yeah you know Yar Taza, you know this video was edifying and with that I want to give all praise honor and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and Shalom to the sincere Akyam spreads truth and sincerity Shalom